Actually. By the way, did you guys hear about uh, Nobuo? Oh man, how do you say his name? Uematsu. Nobuo Uematsu. Yes. Apparently, he's doing his final full uh, score of a game, um, which is mm-hmm. sad. But it also made me discover that there is this amazing looking game inspired by Final Fantasy VI, aka three, on mobile right now called. Um, oh shit! What's that called? Uematsu. Uh, I keep hoping that they'll remake uh, Six in the uh, Octopath Traveler. Engine. Yeah, so that would look gorgeous. Six was one of my favorites. Same here. And it was—it's actually the best reviewed Final Fantasy game ever. Um, yeah. Uh, what was it called? If I, if someone asked, I think someone had made mention of that on one of the clips about uh, one. I think the last set of clips I did with the Final Fantasy that had your face like all surprised and hyped for uh, Final Fantasy 7 yeah. and they said they never played got into the series outside of tactics and I'd suggested if you're going classic 4 or 6 mm-hmm. if you're going PlayStation Air I said 9 and then uh, I agreed with you and Sean that 7 remake is probably the best modern thing to jump into with the series oh yeah maybe X but it's very like X has more of a religious I've tone to it I've never been able to get into that one <laughs> I've tried, but it just doesn't. Work I didn't for like me. it at first because it was such a departure from the other Final Fantasy stuff I I was used to. Okay, so it was um, oh, what's it called? Fantasian, which is an Apple Arcade exclusive right now. But it looks amazing. Have you heard of this? Oh, I think you were talking about this last week. No, I just discovered it like two days ago. Do you have, have a shot or anything you can throw up on I'm, screen? Or no, I, didn't you tweet about it? I mean, that's where I saw uh, it. I might have reshared it, but like, it, it it's giving me kind of like near automated vibes, but with Final Fantasy VI, like, oh, I don't know yeah. if that makes sense. Like, look at this. So, I mean, you got a white head, um, white haired character. Like, that's probably what, why I'm thinking near. Um, so very like Square Enixy type character design, if that makes sense. But then the actual gameplay. is um i remember where did i see it give me final fantasy 6 vibes yeah i was gonna say the character designs don't remind me much of final fantasy 6 but the whole general aesthetic kind of reminds me of final fantasy in general fantasy. yeah yeah maybe i was reading it and they said it was inspired by the final okay. Fantasy 6 but it looks uh, looks fantastic let's... oh Hang on, I think this is a gameplay trailer here. Wait, what did James say? Speaking of we Phantom Brave until we again and PS2 RPG Soul Nomad come to Switch this summer, what are your thoughts on this? I haven't personally played either one of those. I know Phantom Brave is like a, a tactical, like a Final Fantasy tactic style game, so... I have no idea what either of those games are. It's a double pack, and I think it's coming from uh, NIS America. Oh, I don't play much of NIS stuff. I think East 8 and 9 are the only things that I've played of theirs. They're like this old, weird publisher that never succeeded in getting much clout, I feel. like They're just always fringe. They release some good stuff. It's just really niche stuff, like the Disgaea series is from Right. Them. Okay, that's the only one I did play, yeah. Yeah, and the Super uh, Neptunia RPG. I don't know. That was like Final Fantasy or uh, PS3. I think that was out for. Somebody's got to buy it. Yeah. It's very, like, really niche, really hyper weeaboo type stuff. Surprised I haven't played it. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) as as am I. Notice me, Senpai. (laughs) 